It started around midnight. Kaylee and I were discussing a shoot we wanted to do the next morning. We got carried away with props. Did that to help the bell stand up, this crazy candelabra. This is gonna be fun. Tacked up, just stuff that was around the house. We found ourselves around 1 a.m. super excited and sleep nowhere near our minds. We decided we we're probably gonna just have to go for it and do this shoot no matter how late it was. When inspiration strikes, you should go for it. Our key light. You can come in, sorry. <laughs> like I mentioned, this was all just pulled together from stuff that was in the house. It'll be minty fresh. That's right. <laughs> it was crazy to pull all these candles together this candelabra felt like it had 50 candles on it. Obviously, you can count less, but the room was full of smoke as we did this shoot. And it was uh, probably over the span of two hours. So things got a little dense in there, but nothing unsafe. But it was definitely uh, hazy. But I also had a fog machine, so, you know, atmosphere is good. And that's exactly what we wanted. And on today's menu was... Two rolls of film, some Fuji FP100C 4x5 peel apart, and some 16mm cinema film. This doesn't look like it will do it, but when you see the photo, it'll. Sorry. Should have warned you. So that list of patrons looks a little funky, and that's because this project crashed halfway through, and I had to reconstruct the middle portion of this video, so it may be a little weird. But what I was going to mention, aside from thanking my patrons, which they're awesome, thank you so much, is that you can see larger resolution photographs that you can stare at as long as you want to if you join my Patreon for as little as a dollar a month. And I'll also have the short clip of the unedited 16mm film on there as a, an added bonus. Or maybe I'll keep the song, I have to decide. You can also get zine discounts and other updates and perks, hopefully, and check it out. Uh, and there you go. Here's the newly reconstructed middle section, but let's uh, get into what we're doing here. The concept here is basically like a suburban 1950s housewife, but she's a witch who's about to curse her husband in some horrible way for something he's done to cross her. Since I'd be shooting 16 millimeter film, I wanted to use hot lights, which is continuous lighting. And I started with this roll of Portra 400, which I generally don't get along with very well, but it's kind of reddish shadows and everything. Got along really well with this setup. So I was actually pleased with this roll of Portra 400 if you've kept up with my struggles with that film. I alternated the Softar soft focus filter throughout these shots. I think I like it best, but I'm glad I did both because it gives me an option to pick from that. And also, I don't think it distracts too much. And this is just when I accidentally shot after the last shot. You get a little bonus bit of frame. And then it was time to shoot the FP100C 4x5. Okay, you're good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that Even looks better. great. So this is a pack of 4 or 5 FP that I thought I had killed the year before, or several years before really, but it turned out great. And I even managed to bleach and rescue the negative for the first time ever. Thanks, Penelope. And from there, it was time to get some Fuji Instax as well. I prefer the FP, but Instax isn't that bad, actually. It, it worked out pretty good in this situation. I had one more roll of film to go before we, we went to 16mm, and that was actually a roll of 220 Portra 400 that I shot around 200, I believe. And I wasn't sure what to expect from this, but I was hoping it would be a little grainy and gritty, but in a fun way. And I actually got this from Marina, whose channel you should check out. And it'll be in the description because this video is a bit of a train wreck. But she's Analog Diaries. 
So I did basically the same thing I did with the Portra 400, but slightly sh slower shutter speeds. Try saying that fast, slightly slower shutter speeds. But same concept, still going with the atmosphere and smoke and some occasional fog pumped in. That's good. Open your mouth just, oh, okay, okay, you got it. I think we were getting close to around 2 a.m. at this point, but this shoot was pretty much a blur. We were excited. You'll have to turn your head this way because that's where the light's coming from. Okay. Yep, that's the last of this roll. I'm gonna try some motion film now. And wouldn't you know, the film held up surprisingly well, especially considering it was low light and expired film is going to show worse in low light. But as usual, I like the older Portras better than the current Portras, which is a bit of a shame, but except for Portra 800, which is still basically the old one, by the way, if you want to kind of sample a modern flavor of that. But nevertheless, it also helped that we had already shot through a roll of this and the FP and everything, so we we're getting a good grip on the scene and acting it out. And then it was basically time to put all of this construction and practice together and do our little 16 millimeter shoot. This was definitely the most narrative 16 millimeter project I've tried at this point, and I've not done much narrative motion of any kind, but I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. And uh, actually, let's just kick back and I'll show a little more BTS and we'll get to the short film. It was developed by Cinelab in Boston, by the way. I'll have a little more detail in the description. Hope you enjoy the fruits of our late night labor. And I'll make sure. Oh, I heard the film come off that time. 